Hi, I'm David Cooper from ePianos and Whitley Bay Organs. Today I've got a uh, Lowry Fanfare to show you. It's known as the EY300 and it's quite clever. It's got this uh, nifty cover that covers up all the, um, the controls, keeping out the dust out, comes back up again. And they're all on this lovely bright uh, silver panelled back section. The Lowry's um, one of the newer ones, so you've got a little bit smaller cabinets. Some of the big, lots of the Lowry's are quite large cabinets. This is a smaller case to it so it's a bit more manageable to fit into most homes and we've got a, uh, a keyboard here which is uh, 49 notes and we've got another keyboard here which is 61 notes so we've got a longer lower keyboard one of the reasons why this is is because we can put keyboard sounds um, from the upper section down to here and have them in the lower voice section we've got a lower right look it's called and that means we can have different voices down here additional to while we're playing a song we can bring them in while we're using our upper keyboard so we've got two sounds that we can be using while we're playing. Let's give you an example of that. So if I choose a sound from along here, let's go to, uh, let's have a look, what have we got? We've got a saxophone down here. And we've got a, a, an organ at the top. So we could go. sounds and it allows you to um, vary between the two. There used to be a model by Yamaha called a D85 and then an FS70 and they had three keyboards. Essentially this is giving you that same principle to have a solo voice as well as our main voice. So very very effective. Um, this is the Lowry Fanfare. Let's show you some more stuff. So we've got loads of these preset setups. We've got four categories here. Symphony, so symphonic, jazz and swing, country and modern. We've also got um, some more here that we can bring in from a memory stick. Uh, and this is the A button. So the A button, let's get some of those. We'll press the A button. Number one is giving us a nine foot uh, baby grand. No, it's not. Oh, that must be down here.
got some great ones that are built into it. If we go to some of these other voices now, we've got uh, individual voice sections. So if I go to my pianos, I'm going to make sure we've got that turned on. So let's have a look. How do we do that? Let's turn the A button off. And we go to pianos. There we go. So we've got a piano here. We'll turn off the other voices. Now I'm still learning how to use this. This is new to me. So there we go. Button, but we've got lots more to choose from now we can mix together more than one section we've got an ensemble section and um, we've got the organ sounds and we've got an orchestral section that we can we can use to combinate lots of sounds together now over this side is on our rhythm where you normally get them on an organ on the left hand side we can go into rhythms we go to standards and it sets it all up for us I believe so let's try a chord it's an orchestral work section go but I think it's a bit loud actually so I'm going to bring the volume down we've got a style volume it was set quite loud there so I'm going to bring that down a bit so when I go to another let's go to Broadway and let's just try that now lots of choices I'm just going into the one that comes on just to give you a guide let's go to Latin and let's try that now For each of the rhythms, which backing we want, we've got three. We've got the full band, the pianist, or the guitarist, and then we've got group two. So if I go to Latin again, let's hear the full band. Big bass sounds, nice strings in the background. Let's go to pianist. And now this piano is playing. If I bring my lower voice down, if I can remember where it is, here, you'll hear the piano much better. And a guitar version. There's a guitar playing now, strumming in the background. voices we can have voices on the lower keyboard as well and we can also bring in um, the um, song area where there's loads of song titles if we go to the song button look song setup and we can scroll through a, a list of um, I think it's 200 songs and we can find the sound of the song we want to play 
and then we can play it. So if I go to one, see what I recognise, um, Tennessee Waltz. So if I play my first chord, now I'm going to press it first somewhere here. What I'm going to do next, select it, there we go. Nice introduction. And it's fixed everything, it's fixed my sounds on both keyboards, all the speeds and the backing. sounds are very sweet and very pure so it's I've not really struggled to find any I've not played this one um, very recently at all but it's actually very easy to just go into a section choose your style uh, get one of the backings or pick one of the songs and it's just ready to go so this is the Lowry Fanfare um, it's a great it's a nice matching bench this is in the sort of deep mahogany and um, we give you a warranty with it we give you free delivery and uh, lots of backup if you want to help understand the, any of the features on it and we part exchange. So um, here's a great instrument, the Lowry Fanfare. I hope you found that useful. I'm David Cooper at ePianos and Whitley Bay Organs.